Hello everyone, Paul Zinn with the Havager Corporation here looking at a 215 heat pump. And as you can see, I have a liquid line service valve in my hand. So this would be the part where you would normally unscrew that valve all the way up to release the refrigerant that's contained inside this on a new install. However, what I'd like to point out is what's different about a heat pump liquid line service valve is this flare attachment here. And you can see there's a nylon gasket inside there and if we turn this upside down there's actually a piston in there this is the heating metering device when this piston seats one way it meters refrigerant when it seats the opposite way and it can slide back and forth in here i don't know if you can hear that tinging back and forth there when it moves one way it actually bypasses the refrigerant in the cooling mode in the heating mode it slides back this way to actually meter the refrigerant i wanted to show this because we get this question all the time do i really need to put this piston in the outdoor unit and i would say if it comes with a piston yes absolutely otherwise it won't heat properly so here's a closer look at this liquid line connection and you can see that this just twists off. This would be the 3 8 stub that you would braze in your liquid line. And inside here there's that nylon ring that I talked about that seats in here and there's our piston inside there. And you can see that that piston actually slides back and forth in there. So you can see that would be back seated there all the way in there. And then that would be front seated against this connection. So one way it's metering refrigerant, the other way because of these wings on this piston, it actually allows it to bypass. Now there are other models that have a TXV inside here or an electronic expansion valve inside here. And it's really easy to see when you look down inside the unit, there's either a TXV or an EXV it's clear as day. If it's a piston type, you will see that liquid line come into the unit itself. It will go off into a distributor and then feed that coil within there. So there's no other metering device. This is the sole metering device. So if you have a standard model 214, you're gonna wanna use this piston. Uh, otherwise, uh, the, the refrigerant will rip right through there. You won't absorb any heat. It will heat poorly your utility bills will be through the roof and your customer will be happy. Hope this was helpful. I apologize for the noise. We're in, in a warehouse today, so uh, hopefully this was helpful. Have a great day.